Dup, dup, dup. Another ship bites the dust. Come on. Okay, it appears to be a, a hardy soul. Doesn't want to die. It's not really... There's a little bit more water on this side, I think, slightly, but... And there are kind of sinking noises coming from it. But you know what? Um, what I could do, given the conditions, and obviously we've cheated, so we know there's no um, deck gun on the front. And that means we can just surface and shoot it. I think the other ship is sufficiently far away for us to try this. So let's try it. Oops, 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 that's not what I want to do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's try and get into a good position here. I think this might be a pretty good position. Yeah, we're pretty much dead on now. So let's stop. Surface the boat. This guy's tired, let's give him a rest. Get the deck gun out. Load our shells. Once again, we, whoops, shit, didn't mean to do that. Um, once again, I have a pro the problem of not being able to zoom in, which I do not understand. So let's just get the crew firing. Aim for, aim for that water line. Fire off diese Position. Verstanden. Ich versuche einen besseren Winkel zu bekommen. And Feuer! Wir eröffnen das Feuer. Los geht's, Männer! And I don't have enough people in the diesel compartment, which is a problem. Oh, they hit it! And she's going down. That's all it took. Excellent! Another ship in the bag. Okay. Good, 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 sehr, sehr good. Sehr, sehr, sehr good. Sehr good. Just checking out the uh, state of our men here. Some of them are getting pretty tired. Uh, that should be okay for now. Henry Westphal needs a rest, so let's give him one. Doesn't mean our sonar is going to be pretty crappy for a while, but that's no problem. And here is our friend we can still see. So, let's plot a course this way. Uh, more like that, I think, and then head that way. Just go at standard speed, there's no rush. 
Oh, and we missed a sinking. We missed a sinking. Bollocks. Oh, no, here it is. It's still going. It's taking a very, very long time for some reason. Come on. Jesus. Okay, it's never going to sink. It's just going to float here forever, or at least until the hole rusts. But it's definitely, it must have a lot of ballast. What the hell is it carrying? Corks? We're taking a shipment of corks and um, helium balloons. <laughs> well, whatever, fine. Uh, yep. Yep, and there's that ship that we're um, going to be following. What time are we on? Two in the afternoon, which. For some reason, means that it's going to be nighttime soon. Uh, but yeah, okay. Well, what I'll do then is I'll skip ahead, um, and once I'm in a position to attack this ship with my final two rear torpedoes, um, I will recommence the recording. Okay. So here I am, trying to get myself in a decent position to attack the ship. It is now night time, 1.57 ship time, about uh, 10 o'clock p.m., 10 p.m. local time. Um, and I need to get a little bit further away from this ship. This should be good, okay. There she is. There she is. Okay. 250 degrees. Let's bring up the attack scope. Oh, just hit the microphone. Sorry if you heard the noise. My elbow touched the microphone. I use a crappy little desk microphone. Which I should really upgrade with some kind of fancy headset. But I don't have the dollar. Um, okay. Still fairly far away, but that's okay. Does it remember our choice of what it is? No, it does not. What did we say it was? I think we said it was a... Liberty. Did we? I don't think we did. Granville, I think we said it was. I think, anyway. Well, we'll see when it gets closer. Uh, okay then. It's a bit difficult to see in this light, but I would say that's one to almost three marks vertically, so three there. Uh, mass height on this bad boy is 18.2, which is barely even on the scope, but is about there ish, which puts it about. 21,000, 2100 meters. Do we think that's correct? Yeah, that seems pretty correct. Good, okay. Now then, angle on bow. Line up the ship, blah, 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 along the range side with the ship length. Length of this is 91.5. Uh, which is about there-ish. Nope, that's not right. I need 20. Mine's 1.5. There. Horizontal marks. Two, four, six marks. 
Uh, so six marks here puts it at about 23 on the old angle on bow. So still a long ways to go. And now we get the speed. Pretty, high, pretty um, sure this is going to be about six knots again. Don't see why it wouldn't be. It was going at six knots before, so why not now? Uh, now, 30 secondos. Okay, line up the time on the mid outer dial 30 with the ship length 91.5. There and hey presto, six knots. What do you know? Okay, so we are now all set um, apart from the torpedoes. So let's set these at magnetics again. The depth of this thing is six meters, so we'll go for about 6.5 and a little bit more, 6.7 or something like that. Make sure they're both magnetics, which they are. That's good. Alright, and now we just need to wait until it gets to about 190 degrees. And once again, my sound guy is refusing to hear the ship, which is plainly audible here. What a gimboid. There we go. I think it's some kind of uh, buggy thing where if your scope's up and you've got visual contact, then um, the sound guy doesn't pick up any contacts, which is a bit stupid, but what can you do? Okay, we're getting pretty close now. There it is. Let's make sure my guess adds up, and I think it does. Looks like a um, Granville type to me. So let's get ready. Okay. Well, um, could do with ranging it out again very quickly, but I don't think we've got time. We, we know what it is. It's about 800 meters. So let's set that to 800 meters. And let's get ready to fire. Set this to a slightly higher speed, so hopefully they will impact at about the same time. And this time I'm going to go a little bit behind the stack, like so. And we shouldn't have very long to wait. And there's the first one. Just about to see the wake here. And... Oh! Whoa. Oh no, okay, we're good, we're good. Whoa. The second one exploded prematurely. But the first one did hit. And now whoever is manning the searchlight is on fire. There seems to be um, managing okay. Frachter auf 177 entfernt sich. Maybe he's wearing um, a special suit which allows him to auf 175 entfernt sich. Within uh, a load of flames and uh, in a zero oxygen Frachter environment. Anyway, shut up, shut up, shut up. Well, we hit it and um, we are now all out of torpedoes. 
so this is it. Um, as far as torpedoes goes, we still have deck gun ammunition. So once again, we could uh, quite easily get in front of this guy and uh, shoot him to death if we need to. Hopefully, that one torpedo will take care of him. Although, it still seems to be... Whoop! Things are exploding. Yeah, okay, it looks pretty bad for him. I think maybe because the last ship we hit, we hit the ship on the front and on the stern, or on the um, bow and the stern, and perhaps that's equaled out the uh, the water getting into the, the hull, which meant it was able to stay afloat. It might be better just to hit one side so that it starts listing um, yeah, that might be a better idea in future. But um, yeah, I think this guy's going to be going down. He seems to be moving backwards for some weird reason. And yes, she is going down! Excellent! Let's take a look at the log. So, we have uh, managed to sink four ships. Um, which is not fantastic given the amount of torpedoes I had. Actually, it turned out that this Granville had uh, more tonnage than the medium, which I wasn't expecting. Um, but yes. Four ships in the bag. And now, because we're out of torpedoes, it will be time to return home and collect our renown. Um... Yeah. Oh. Yep, okay. All right. You're exploding, we get it. <laughs> I don't know. Well, oh, and there goes the sack. Yeah, always, um, always amusing how as soon as it starts to sink, everything just explodes melodramatically for no reason whatsoever. But uh, yeah, down it goes, slipping away to the bottom of the sea. Under the sea. Under the sea. You won't be able to breathe under the sea. Anyway, and with one final burst of orange, it is gone. Can we hear it on the hydrophones? No. Hydromophone. All right, well. It's time to go home. Um, I may well stock up for fuel with U461 on my way back. If I can manage to get it to work without skipping me ahead another month. Um, and then again, I might also try something else. Because I've heard there is an interesting site in this general area. Um, which is kind of um, an easter egg in the GWX version of the game, so... Um, I think I will attempt to check that out first of all before I head home. Um, so, I'll be back if I manage to um, spot my intended target. See you then. <laughs>